really bad. It's just I feel like I look really um, bad. I don't know what it is. Let me know down below what I could do to fix it. Anyway, what we're doing in today's video is we are going to be, well, I am going to be giving you holiday gift ideas. <laughs> but not just any holiday gift ideas, ones that are $5 or under. Yay! But buying gifts is so stressful. Every single year I have a very tough time buying gifts for people because number one, I don't want to spend money on anyone and number two, I don't have any ideas. It's really difficult. You can't really complain or say you don't have a gift for everybody after watching this video because I got you. Chocolate! Everything's under $5 and you're probably like, how did you do that? And it's because I went to a store called Five Below where everything is under $5. Speaking of Five Below, this video is sponsored by Five Below. Thank you guys, I love you. They gave me the cool opportunity to pick out a few items to put on my top gift picks list that would be on display in the store so that you guys could see the stuff I picked. There's 750 stores and everything's $5 or less, so that's a pretty good bargain if you ask me. And if you're asking me, it's a good deal. And you asked me. <laughs> All my gift picks are inspired by my childhood, so go check it out. Wow. Let's just get right into it. Let's get started. The first genre of things that you can get for people are t-shirts. This first one says Call of Duty Secret. Nope, does not say secret. Special plops. And you're probably like, Emma, who the f would you give that to? Well, I have a few options. Number one, your boyfriend. Cause you know, boys always are taking sh yes. Number two, your constipated grandpa. Maybe that's a little bit offensive because he's not that's the whole reason why he's constipated. I don't know. Another one that's related to poop. This guy pooped today. Um, this one's a lot better for your constipated grandpa because this shirt's only coming out when he took which is not that often. Also, you could get him prune juice. But supposedly that helps to get things moving down there, but you can just take my word for it. This one would be really good for your cousin who just got accepted into Alpha Pi and is so excited. He's probably this is great for him. I'd flex, but I like this shirt. Ah, so funny. He would definitely wear that to a frat party and no girls would talk to him, but he doesn't know that that's gonna happen, so it's okay. Speaking of your cousin that just got accepted into Alpha Pi, beer flavored gummy bears. I mean, jelly beans. I'm not doing well. Let me try to open these, because I want to try it. How the f open this? What the f Oh, that's how it is. Okay, let's try it. Ugh. You can get those for him because frat boys love beer. So it's definitely gonna be slam dunk with that one. Who doesn't love a hot glue gun? I know I love them. Next thing, this is for your dad. Extension cord. Dads love <laughs> Take my word for it. I can guarantee it. Okay, well, I can't guarantee it, but I can like tell you that there's a decent chance that he'll like it. Going back to t-shirts, because I forgot that we were doing the t-shirt segment and then I moved on because I'm... Uh, this shirt says new phone, who this? So there's a lot of options for this. You can get this for basically anybody who's not in your life anymore. They're gonna think it's super funny and not be offended at all. And it definitely won't stir the pot. I think it's a really good idea. This is for your cousin who just found Tumblr and they just feel like they're basically rediscovering the world itself. Humans aren't real. Super quirky and fun. Next thing is for the cousin that you don't like. This. For that matter, this is for anyone that you don't like or respect. These are the worst candies of all time. I don't care if you like them, these I haven't eaten them in like 10 years, so for the sake of the video, I'm going to eat one. Yep, bad. That is so bad. It's almost like borderline disrespectful. Ah! On the other hand, if you want to get a candy for somebody that you like, get them these. I haven't eaten these in a long time. Don't mind if I do. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Ah! Oh. I have my shot. I'm on my period, so I'm gonna finish this later. Anyway, everybody has that on, or cousin, or somebody in their family, or friend that's obsessed with <laughs> Harry Potter. Get them Harry Potter candy. You're gonna have them rolling around on the ground begging you to marry them. That's gonna be a little bit weird if it's your brother who's obsessed with Harry Potter, but just go with it. Being a Harry Potter fan myself, I know that there's something really fun about eating candies that you saw in the movie. And because of that, I'm gonna try these. This is the chocolate frog from the movie. Let's see if it's any good. Nope, it's not. That's okay. I don't hate it, I guess. The more I get it, the more I like it. Next, jelly slugs. Let's just take a moment to appreciate that this video has no structure whatsoever. Like, is this a gift guide? Is this a taste test? Like, I <laughs> Okay, well, I can't open this packaging, so I'm not gonna try this, but we're just gonna guess that it tastes like gummy bears. For you, anybody in your life who's either vegan or does a lot of yoga, you can get them this. Coconut water. Now, if you wanna get extra brownie points, get the ones with pulp. It means that it has coconut chunks in it. Hold on. Oh my god, are you f***ing <laughs> What? I Broke it. Are you kidding me? I'm having a bad day, Loki, but. Bro, I literally can't open it. What? Chocolate! Chocolate! 
Oh my god, I got it open. If you get them, the ones with the pulp in it, it means that there's coconut chunks in it. And I'm gonna be the first one to tell you, it's good as Mmm, I love coconut water with chunks in it. I think this one might be stale though. Why did it taste like weird? <laughs> okay. Moving forward, anybody in your life who either steals your gum or just overall has bad breath Because you know, we all have that one friend and honestly that one friend could be me for all I know So I'm scared. I might as well just give this to myself because who knows who knows this is the best one Just saying for anybody in your life who likes collectors items I've had a few teachers in my day who have been obsessed with collecting things whether that's dolls, Pez this was only five dollars. It's not a collector's item, but like the it, but but if you tell them that this is a collector's item They're probably gonna believe I cannot they're probably gonna believe it and they're probably gonna be really grateful Keep that in mind your uncle who loves to go on vacation get him these <laughs> These are a little bit trendy so be careful with who you give these to don't disrespect the glasses Oh my god, you can only give these to one type of person and it's an uncle don't even try to give it to any other type of person They won't like it like an uncle will uncles love this <laughs> Anyone that you know that's under the age of 10, Jojo Siwa Bo. Keep that in mind. For your younger cousin or younger sibling who's just now going through puberty, I have a gift for them. Trust me. Deodorant. Hygiene is fun. I mean, not saying that you have to wear deodorant. I, a lot of people maybe don't. For your super angsty Tumblr high school cousin, give them some paints. Do you have someone in your family who's complaining about arthritis? Ankle brace. They will love <laughs> Super helpful, borderline disrespectful, but still kind of good because it's going to be useful. You know, it's Christmas time. They don't want to be thinking about their arthritis, but sorry Or if you have somebody in your family with a sprained ankle, but I feel like that's a little bit more steep So I don't know. Okay, this gift has some connection to me personally, and it's a flashlight This is for your crush, and I'll explain myself. I had a crush in elementary school And I remember it was his birthday, and so my mom took me to Target so I could pick something out for him What did I pick out? You guessed it, a flashlight. So I dropped it off at his house, and we never talked about it Um, I don't know if he liked the flashlight. He probably didn't considering that there's nothing you can do with a flashlight but for some reason I thought it was a good idea anyway I mean just take it from me it doesn't really benefit you at all but it's still worth a try you know what I mean just because it didn't work for me doesn't mean it won't work for you <laughs> that's borderline making me gag this is another one that could really go for anybody batteries who doesn't need them if somebody you know has really <laughs> bad teeth you can oh. give them veneers and I come on Do you have someone in your life that's just a <laughs> child, never seemed to grow up, doesn't know how to handle themselves, play them. It just sends a little subtle message that you can't handle a big girl gift, so that's a cool idea. But do you know what the ultimate Christmas gift is? I don't know, I mean, it's something I would want, something my family would want, maybe, probably not. The ultimate gift you can give is my merch! So I wanted to do a little bit of an explanation as to why I chose the products I chose. As you know, they're inspired by my childhood and some of them have some funny stories behind them, so let me tell you about it. Yeah. Ooh. Since I was a small child, I loved myself a good flavored chapstick, so this was a must for me. Some of them are holiday flavors, some of them are other cool flavors, and it comes with a pack of three so that you have options so that you can always have a good time uh, moisturizing your lips, right? Yeah, okay. When I saw these chokers, I knew I needed to include them because in middle school, these would have been my thing. This would have been my go-to accessory. They're so fun. They come in a pack of five. Let's get this bread. Oh, God. These erasers mean a lot to me because they were my obsession as a child. I literally collected hundreds and hundreds of these and at a certain point, decided that I didn't even want them anymore and then sold them to my friends and became a millionaire at age five. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, I love these erasers. Pick them up. There's 25 of them, so you can spice it up. Fuzzy socks are on my Christmas list every single year because I'm just obsessed with them. They're so comfortable. You just cannot go wrong with a good fuzzy sock. Am I right, ladies and gents? Pick them up. Growing up, my favorite blanket of all time was my monkey hooded blanket. My grandma gave it to me and it meant a lot to me. And so I thought, hey, might as well include it so that you guys can pick one up too. It's super fuzzy and fun and only $5 and very fun. This isn't really something that relates to my childhood. It's just something that relates to me now. I love slime, okay? It's so fun. Who doesn't love slime? I don't know. I mean, I watch all of the videos on Instagram of people squishing it with their fingers and stuff to this day. So I 
just think it's something you need to have, okay? During Christmas time, I always play games with my family because it just brings us together and it's the only time that we don't all hate each other. Just kidding, we love each other. Anyway, this is fun because it's like an on-the-move version of Scrabble, which is fun because, you know, it's educational and fun, which is awesome because that's awesome. So yeah, have fun. Play games with your family. Bond over stuff. And try not to argue when one of your family members loses. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully you found it kind of helpful. If not, I'm sorry. You didn't really come to the right place, so I don't know who you can blame for that, but I love you. Happy Christmas shopping. Hope you're having a great day, and um, I'll see you later. Peace and love. Bye. Yeah.